Okay, that should be good, I'm assuming. I'm gonna be really lazy with this video. I don't have like an external monitor to see myself in this, so I'm pretty sure I'm in frame, but I might be a little off. I know that if I was to zoom out to 12 millimeters, I would definitely be in frame, but this is way too wide. I mean, come on, this is ridiculous. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a photo shoot or photo shoots that I worked on the past week or so with a model named Bailey, who's based out of Dayton, Ohio. I went to Bailey's apartment and we did some photos with a projector screen, as well as this gigantic, like really cool loft window. Uh, and then we went to a park or to like three different parks and took some photos as well. So I don't have any video of the parks. I forgot to record it. I also had my son with me. So I was pushing a stroller and taking pictures, uh, but I do have video of inside the apartment. So I'm gonna show some of that video, which would maybe show some setup of these photos and how it, the photos came to be a little bit. So this video's purpose is not just to show my amazing photos that I took. I don't think that they're that amazing, but I do really enjoy them. Uh, but it's also to show that you don't really need super, super expensive speed lights and gels and all this crazy cool equipment to get awesome photos. You just need to have a good idea and maybe somebody who's good at getting their photo taken. So normally when I'm taking photos of somebody, whether it's for fine art portraits or like general family portraiture or whatever, I start off by taking very basic pictures just to kind of get my settings right, just to make sure that I'm like in the right headspace for these photos. Uh, and I find that as I start pressing the shutter button, I kind of get more ideas as far as, you know, maybe angle of shot or framing of this in the background or whatever. So I said I didn't use any expensive equipment to shoot this. Uh, I'm not including my camera in that. I'm shooting on a Sony a7R II for photos. I was also using a Tamron 28 to 75 f2.8. I also used a Sony 85 millimeter 1.8, which is a very inexpensive 85 millimeter prime lens. And I used a Tamron 20 millimeter 2.8 for the super wide shots. It's a cool lens, but it like does a really bad Boeing fisheye effect for only being 20 millimeters. Uh, yeah, don't really wanna do Boeing with that. So I don't recommend that lens, but I did use that lens and I got some cool photos out of it. So it's kind of like, you know, it's a cheap lens. It's not really that bad, it's just not my cup of tea. There are a handful of people that I have a really easy time taking photos of. Number one is definitely my wife because I take tons and tons of photos of her. And I mean, she's my wife. We're really comfortable around each other. But Bailey is definitely up there in the top five because I've taken photos with her quite a few times. Uh, and she is an actress and a model as well. So she's used to being in front of a camera and it makes it to where there's like no uncomfortableness in front of the camera. I don't have to like coax these like you know, different shapes out of her as she's trying to like move her body around. I can kind of like say, hey, move your arm this way, move your arm that way. But beyond that, she's already like posing. She already knows what she wants to do.
So originally Bailey had wanted to do some like feminine fairy type photos here and we definitely got the femininity in there. If that, is that the right word? Femini femininity? Femininity? Femininity. Uh, she definitely wanted to show some more feminine look to this and I think that we did a pretty good job at getting that. This is the first time that I've actually recorded myself taking somebody else's photos. Let me know what you think. Do you like the idea of me showing the behind the scenes stuff of some of my photos? Do you wish that I had talked while I was recording myself? I don't know, I felt a little bit weird like talking to the camera as I'm taking pictures of somebody else. So I didn't do that this time, but maybe I should have. I don't know, what are your opinions on that? Which photos do you like the most and which ones do you not like the least? Not like the most? I don't know, which ones are best? Which ones are worse? I'm curious. Comment below, let me know. If you're not subscribed already, I would really appreciate a subscribe and maybe even click the bell button so you know when I'm releasing videos. A lot of people that are subscribed to me on YouTube already don't realize when I'm posting videos because they're not, you know, they're not part of the notification thing and I don't always post exactly when I'm supposed to. So if you wanna keep up with these videos exactly when I post them, just click the notification bell and you'll get a message every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great night or a great day. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, which is at Josh the Collins, which is where I post all this photography stuff, as well as on Patreon. And I do Japanese related things on Patreon as well. Uh, I'm looking around for my lens cap. I can't find it, so I'm just gonna have to use my hand. Goodbye.